Hello and happy holidays. I am here today with one of my favorite videos of the year and that's my stocking stuffers gift guide. These are gifts that are $25 or less and are generally smallish in size, although I'm pushing it on one of them, but you could break it up into multiple gifts and I'll sh that'll make more sense when I show you what it is. But basically I've separated this into two categories. Instead of gender, I thought I'd do fun versus functional. But of course there's some crossover there too because some of the functional things are fun and some of the fun things are functional and I think actually that pretty much applies to all of them in my opinion. But these are my top picks for this year. Let's go through the functional stuff first and save the fun for last. All right, so first of all, I have become a very, very, very big advocate of beeswax wraps this year. I love, love, love them. They just have completely replaced cling wrap for me. I've been trying where I can to use less single-use plastics. That doesn't mean I'm perfect at it, that doesn't mean I'm zero waste, but I do make an effort. And one of the things that's been really easy for me to move beyond this year is cling wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. And that's because of these amazing beeswax wraps. Now I get these on Etsy and actually, actually was introduced to this company because I got an Oh Hello box, thank you Kayla, uh, that had a one of these in the, in the box. And then I went on to Etsy and bought a whole bunch. So they're from Free Wheel and Market. I'll have all of these products, of course, linked below. You can get a, a set of three for $18 and you can choose either circle or square. And the square ones also, I think, have some rectangle shapes. She also has smaller sizes and I bet you could message her for custom sizes. And she offers them in a variety of colors and patterns. Um, but you can use these a lot and you just wash them in not hot water because it would melt the wax but like a, a lukewarm water with a mild detergent and air dry and then you use them again and again and again and because it's wax it's heat activated so when you want to cover something like a dish or whatever I just use my hands to kind of push it into the side of the dish or whatever I'm doing. It warms up the wax and it creates a really nice seal. Um, I really really love those and I think that's a wonderful gift because it's you know kind of health, earth conscious earth conscious and health conscious because who knows how I don't know single use plastic I'm always like a little uncertain about put, having plastic like touch my food like thin plastic like that I don't know maybe that's just me being a little bit over overzealous but that would be one thing another kind of planet conscious gift that was another recommendation from a friend of mine Brooke from Bibbidi Bobbidi Brooke and I'm going to talk about product of hers specifically in a minute is the final straw this is something I saw her featuring on her Instagram stories and if you are a Disney fan and you don't follow Brooke run run and follow her. I'll have her linked below. But these are just under the $25 limit for this guy. They're $24.95 on Instagram. I believe this was a Shark Tank product. So you get this cute little case that keeps the straw protected. The straw is actually a steel out outer with a silicone inside. Um, and it has silicone tips if you're worried about like tooth chipping or anything. I've never had a problem with that with steel straws, but I know some people worry about those things. And then it fits so nicely into this little case. And the little case actually, if it will focus on it, also comes with a little brush. Now the brush is much easier to get out if you already have the straw out. So say you use your straw and you get home and you want to clean it. Well, you pull this out and you've got your little brush. And the little brush is specially designed to fit perfectly in the straw and clean one side and clean the other side in warm soapy water, air dry, and then you can put the whole kit and caboodle back in the case and stick it back in your purse. If this isn't brilliant, I don't know what is because straws is one of those things, especially as a parent, little children, I cannot seem to get away from. I am happy to not use a straw when I'm out at a restaurant or whatever, but my kids, they like straws. And with toddlers, sometimes it's easier for them to use a straw. So I actually bought them their own. And these have rainbow straws. I haven't taken these out of the package here. You can see how they come in the mail packaged up. 
Um, but you can get different color cases. I got Donnie a gray one and Cece a purple one. And now I can have straws for everybody in my purse. And we, it's just one last thing I feel guilty. Every time they get a straw at a restaurant, I feel horribly guilty about it. Cause they are, I mean, plastic is just wreaking havoc on our planet. And it's really hard to get away from single use pra uh, plastics if you buy anything at all. So any step I can take to kind of counter that a little bit, makes me feel better um and i think there is no such thing as too small of a like a good deed do you know what i mean speaking of kids th my next uh gift guide pick i feel like i might have talked about this once many many years ago but i use this little puppy so much now as a parent like i always used it uh, but now as a parent who changes out a lot of batteries on toys this little eight in one mini screwdriver comes in so handy. So it's this tiny little thing. I keep this in my kitchen, like we call it the junk drawer, but it's not junky anymore since I cleaned it out. It comes with eight different bits of different sizes and styles. You've got Phillips and, and Flathead in different sizes. And they all go nicely into the um, barrel of the screwdriver. And it's a magnetic grab. Um, so this isn't for heavy duty, like I wouldn't like hang anything on my wall using this probably, but it works really, really, really well. Um, so I actually bought this one at the container store years ago. I don't know if they still sell it, but I found something very comparable on Amazon for only $9. And it is the, it's just called the Precision 8-in-1 Screwdriver. And this is how it comes in the package, but you can see it's essentially the same thing and it has same bits in the back. This one actually has like a little thing if you wanted to keep it in your pocket. Um, you could if you're cool like that, but uh, I am not. So that's very functional, very handy for anybody, but I would say especially for parents. Like if you're giving a new parent some battery operated toys for their um, new baby or a, you know whatever, how thoughtful to also include a mini screwdriver and some replacement batteries. I just think that's, I mean, that's going above and beyond. Another very functional, really great little stocking stuffer are these cable clip organizers. These are wonderful if you charge anything at your desk, or on your bedside table. I use these primarily in those two places. Uh, even in Charlotte's room, she has a little um, like reading lamp that's a little lamb that she loves. Um, stay tuned for my kids' gift guide. But the it charges via USB, so we have it plugged in behind her nightstand, and the cord always drops down, and she likes to keep it plugged in. She's very like conscious of charging it, because she wants it to have juice so she can read after lights out. I pop this on the back of the um, her nightstand, and then the cord doesn't fall all the way down. It stays right there, and she can always access it. Um, and then I also use it on my nightstand and on my desk. It really, these are just really, really handy. Again, this is something you can get at the container store. I think it's a little bit more expensive. There's another brand, I can't remember the brand name. I'm holding these up, you don't, can't even see them. Um, this is what they look like, just these little things. I found these on Amazon. These are a lot less expensive. These are uh, $6 for a set of six but they only come in black. If you want other colors, you can poke around Amazon, but also the ones on the container store come in other colors as well. Because I put them on the back of desks or nightstands where you don't see them, I don't really care what color they are. Um, and black just kind of fades into the shadows, uh, but they do come in handy. And I just think it's a really nice little thing, especially like another good bundle gift if you're giving somebody something that needs to be like a really fancy gift like an Apple Watch or a iPhone or a tablet or a, even a computer you know something it might be just like a nice thing to add on to the gift if you're the kind of person who does likes to do layered gifts okay a couple more functional items this is a new find for me this is a USB candle lighter now Christopher Allen another online buddy of mine love you Christopher had suggested one, I think by Warby, that they don't currently sell on Amazon. So I was like, this looks really cool because I have gotten back into lighting candles since my kids are a little older now and I'm a little less worried about it. Um, but the lighters freak me out. 
um, like the candle lighters, I, like I keep the candle lighter downstairs on top of our TV credenza because I don't want the kids to reach it and start a fire. So this is a really nice alternative because it's a gadget. Um, again, I keep it out of the reach. I'm not like, here, play with this. But to me, it's a little bit more peace of mind. It's also, I don't know if it's more eco-friendly. I don't know what the carbon footprint of this is compared to a gas, like a gas lighter. Um, but I know I'm not gonna have to replace this as much. So I'm gonna demo it. You charge it via USB, comes with the cable. You open it up like this. And then you push this little button. Can you see that? I'm hoping that the camera picks this up. I don't know how to do this on the camera. Okay, there. Is it working? No. It's hard to do. I'm trying to get this so you can see it. There! Look at that. So what it does is it creates... Let me show you. It creates a spark. And the spark ignites the wick. I only know of using this on candles. I don't know if you could like use it to light your fireplace fire or anything like that. Maybe you could ignite newspaper with it to get a fire going in your fireplace. I'm not sure, but it is marketed as a candle lighter. So that's how I would um, suggest it. Uh, $12.99, so $13. I think that's really reasonable considering how much those candle style like gasoline lighters are and you have to keep purchasing those when they run out. Last but not least, this is kind of a fun functional thing that I saw on Uncommon Goods, which is a uh, like a gift shop, an online gift shop that I like looking for unusual gifts on. Um, and I thought this was really cool. This is um, sourced from Guatemala, so it's handmade in Guatemala, and these are coaster warmers. And they come in two different scents. There's a spiced one and then there's a coffee scent one. So what you do is you put this in your microwave. I can't remember if it's 30 seconds or a minute. It says it says on the website. And you heat it up and then this keeps your cup of whatever warm. Tea, coffee, what have you. Um, here, I'll show you the coffee one is a different color. Looks like this. But I just thought this was a nice thing for a coffee drinker. Again, if you want to like do a layered gift and give a really nice mug or a travel mug and maybe your favorite tea or coffee or hot chocolate mix. It comes in a box like this, FYI. I just thought this was really neat. My office is freezing because it's over the garage, which is not insulated and not heated. Um, so my cup of whatever gets cold super fast in here. I have a little space floor heater, but that only keeps my feet warm, not my coffee. This really does the trick. And $15, and it supports um, fair trade. So I think that's really a really nice um, kind of bonus for that. All right, so that was the functional stuff. Let's get to the fun stuff. I have some beauty items um, that I'm really excited about. You guys know if you've been watching me for any length of time I really like the Sephora uh, masks not just their face masks but their hand masks their foot masks their eye masks I think they're a nice value this is a disposable item it's probably not the most eco-friendly but it it is a nice luxury to have once in a while I don't use them every day um, but I think it's a nice once in a while treat they came out with this gift box this year this is a Sephora collection where is the penguin mask set this is $25 but it comes with eight masks so it's actually a $38 value so this is what it looks like I don't know if you could fit this box in a stocking but this is the gift I was referring to that you could break up into multiple gifts um, it's just a really good value when you buy it in the big box so you get the charcoal face mask, the lychee one, the cucumber eye mask, a charcoal nose strip, a coconut hair sleeping mask, the aloe vera hand mask, and the almond foot mask, which are two of my absolute favorite, and then a shea lip mask. So it's a really nice collection of things. You could break this up into two or three or even four gifts. If um, and then maybe layer it with other things if you want. I just think it's a really cute box if you want to give this whole thing. This is a really sweet gift in itself. Um, and I think the packaging is actually really, really cute with the little penguins on it. So, 25 bucks for that. Another Sephora collection item that I was excited. They have this whole line that's here with this cute like penguin packaging stuff. Are these um, 
cooling iPads. I actually bought this with a certain person in mind because I saw her one morning um, using like little Ziploc bags with ice cubes in it to um, reduce puffiness in her eyes. And I was like, well, that's clever. But then I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if there was a reusable way to do that? And then I just happened to be in Sephora during the sale looking for gift ideas and I saw these and I was like, bingo. Keep these in your fridge. Don't freeze them. They're not meant for the freezer. Keep them in your fridge. You, it says to place them in the fridge for 15 minutes. Once cold, place them directly in your eyes and just chill. Eyes will be less puffy, well rested, and fresher in record time. So I actually, as a, a Sephora beauty insider, they had these as a like a gift if you use some points. And so I have them in my fridge. They really do work and it's really refreshing. Um, so I think this is a really sweet stocking stuffer, $6. Perfect. Again, layer this up with the masks. This would go really nice with the masks if you want to do a more elaborate gift. Or add this with it too. This is my next little gift option. I've loved these fresh sugar lip bombs for years and they this year they have a new one the fresh minty um what do they call it fresh mint rush is the new one that's this one here so this is a little mini i'm sorry it's not focusing on it this is a little mini set that is um 19 dollars it comes with both the mint one which i bought the larger individual size of and i'm obsessed and the advanced therapy which is a really nice hydrating one i use it on my kids all the time i really like the mini sizes too because they're easy to pop into like a small bag or in a small pocket of a larger bag um, again you could bundle up some of these items for a really nice beauty gift i think this is nice on its own um, I'd buy it just for me, to be honest. I think it's really, 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 really nice or I wouldn't be including it. Another recommendation from a friend are these amazing large style cosmetic bags. This is another Etsy shop gift. This is by Little England Gifts. Um, these are $15. This was given to me um, at Go Wild by my friend Jeanette who runs the event, filled with fun products and stuff. Can you see a theme here? Can, can you see how we could layer things up here? Um, but I just thought this was such a nice cosmetic bag. Now, the lady who runs the shop markets this for bridesmaids gifts, which is great, but I think Jeanette used it just as gift gifts, you know? And she had Stay Wild put on the inside. I thought it was so cool how this lady who runs the shop personalizes the inside as well as the outside. I love how big this is. I actually used this for my crafting supplies when I went to that um, memory keeping workshop in Eugene a couple of months ago. It's a really big size. So I, I just really like it. I think it's really nice looking too. And for $15, this is a really nice personalized gift. Um, isn't that cute? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Now, where are my band buttons? I mentioned my friend Brooke. She recently um, got licensing, a licensing deal from Disney. She's been doing her own entre, you know, entrepreneurial I'm not good at saying that word. She's been doing her own small business thing for years now, working really hard, doing everything herself, and Disney finally took notice, and they wanted in. And so she has recently launched her new licensed, so she can use actual Mickey and Minnie um, trademarked images and shapes and designs for her band buttons. I have... It's going to be a little hard to show you. I've got Mickey on right here. Um, the little rose gold Mickey. It comes in silver, rose gold, gold, and I think a black, shiny black as well, if I'm not mistaken. Here's the little winky Mickey, Mickey face. Super cute. I have that one as well. And the, well, I have all of these. I bought more because I'm, I'm giving some of these things away. Um, but these are $15 a piece aren't they? Yeah. These are $15 a piece. I just, if you have a Disney lover, this is just the coolest little thing. It's a way to accessorize your watch or if you're going to Disney World, your magic band, which is the um, wristband you use as your park ticket and your, they call it your like key to the world to get into your room, to pay for things. Um, you can use it on other kinds of watch bands as well. I've seen it on garments. I've seen it on I mean, if you go to Brooke's Instagram, which I will have linked below, she shows you all the different watches you can put these on. 
it's such a nice way, a little gift for a Disney lover because to me it's just a little something I can, catches my eye or I can look at. It just brings a little smile to my face to have a little Mickey on my wrist. And I love, love, love these new licensed um, buttons that she's put out. They're very low profile. Her other band buttons were great and I love them too, but they were a little thicker. These um, lay a little flatter so they're really discreet. They don't get caught on things. Love them. I think that's a really, really sweet gift for a Disney lover. Um, and then I think I just have one more fun gift until, of course, I always include a candy item because to me, what stocking is complete without candy? But this is just the cutest thing. So Amy Tan, Amy Tan, whose brand is Amy Tangerine, um, released this, I think it was in 2019. If not, it was late 2018 her little travel sized watercolor set. This is $22. You can find it on Amazon or crafting stores. It's this little kit so you can easily bring this on the go with you. Um, and it has everything you need for watercolor. So this is a little water reservoir for on the go. It comes with a marker and a pencil and a sponge. And then if you open the tray, you can use this as a palette comes with the water watercolor brush with a lid so you can here let me hold this up you can load it up but then travel with it loaded which is nice um and then it's got the how many colors is that six twelve twelve colors in it really nice quality i have my friend christina from star of may who is a super talented artist and card designer has used and reviewed this product and i'll try to find that can't remember if it's a video or if she's used it in multiple videos but if I can find one review I'll link it for you I'll link her regardless because she's amazing um, but it has little places where you can I'm not an artist so I don't really understand but you can use it when you're doing your water coloring I don't know I bought one for me I haven't had a chance to use it yet but I am not artistic but I really love the idea of painting a little bit just almost as art therapy. Um, so for $22, I think that's a really nice gift. Even for a child, maybe a, you know, like an eight, nine plus year old. I mean, you could definitely get it for any age child, but it, you know, <laughs> it just depends on what you want to spend. But I just think it's a really fun gift and perfect, here it is in the box, perfect stocking stuffer size. And then last but not least, I always have to talk about my food favorites. I have become a little obsessed with this brand, Divine Chocolate. They have some what they call accidental vegan products. So I don't think they can quite completely characterize them as 100% vegan because they're processed in facilities that use, that, that have milk products in them. But there's, they have a lot of products that don't have dairy or eggs in them. And this is one of them. Actually, it has the vegan stamp on it. It is official. These are the dark chocolate mint thins. I love peppermint patties. They are not vegan friendly. This is like the vegan friendly version of that, but way more gourmet. And I actually bought their advent calendar, their dark chocolate advent calendar for me and the milk chocolate ones for the kids. Cause to me it's, really nice candy. I got the milk chocolate one for Cece last year and she loved it, of course. I mean, you can get cheaper advent calendars. I think those were like seven or eight dollars. Um, but the, the quality of the chocolate is just far superior and I, I got the vegan friendly one for me. Anyway, $7.99. I actually think this is a really nice little hostess gift to bring. It's starting to melt. Um, $8.00. You want to bring something, maybe you don't want to bring a bottle of wine, maybe you want to bring a bottle of red wine and some chocolate or some flowers and some wine or some flowers and some chocolate, you know, whatever. $8 this is this a nice thing. I think it's a great standalone hostess gift, um, especially if you know other people are bringing alcohol or flowers as gifts um, to a holiday party or dinner or whatever. Very, very sweet. And those, you guys, that concludes my stocking stuffer gift guide of 2019. I'm giving away most of the things that I've shown you today to one lucky winner. It'll be one of my standard giveaways. It'll run for one week's time. It's open internationally and I will email the person who wins directly. Um, the winner is um, selected at random. But anyway, there'll be a link to enter that giveaway if you're interested below. And I hope this sparked some 
inspiration for you and your holiday shopping. I know it's just about that time of year to really, really get on that. I know I need to get on that, but I uh, hope this helped you in some way. I'd love to know what some of your favorite gifts to give this year are, if you care to share. It's always good to get the ideas flowing, and I will see you really soon for another gift guide video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.